What is going on guys, welcome back to another video, my name is Sparkman, I'm a game developer and today we are going to continue with our melee attack uh, tutorial. Now the graphics are terrible but uh, you can easily fix that by adding nice fancy graphics. So let me show you what we got so far. We can uh, decrease the health of the bad guy. Okay. Now we got a couple of things to fix. Uh, example, when we turn around, our hitbox is still uh, pointing right, and our bad guy doesn't die. So that's what we're going to fix uh, today. Okay, guys, for the game, for exclusive game development content, don't forget to head out to my second channel, Sparkman 2. No Fortnite content there, and other stuff. No games. So let's get started. So the first thing we need is uh, to be able to. Uh, so the first thing we need to fix is the um, hitbox. So right now, when you hit, it only works for the right. We want that to work for our left as well. We can fix that very easily by simply adding a variable to our character, and uh, we're gonna call this variable. Uh, DIR direction. It's gonna be zero or one. So, add a condition, and uh, if our variable is set to zero, equals zero. So then this is going to work. Now if we press um, left, we want to set our um, variable direction equals 1. Okay, let me just uh, copy this. And if we press right, we want to set it back to 0. Set this uh, to uh, zero and see what happens. So we press control and now we go left and nothing happens. Okay. So for this to work, we simply need to copy this um, action and paste it. So now we have two. So if direction is equals one, we are still going to uh, place our box uh, around this object, but instead of 55, we're going to go minus 55. See what happens. Now that collision is still uh, messed up there from our collision and our collision box is still pretty big, so we're going to change that later. For now, it should work for both sides. So now we need our character to die, the bad guy. All you have to do is create another animation. Edit object. Add another animation. Okay. And um, we're going to edit this with Piscal or Piscal. And I'm simply going to um, uh, maybe we can have an animation for this to take um, damage. Okay. Call this a uh, damage, and is just default. Now we don't want to loop this that uh, too many times. Okay, so 
preview. Okay. FPF. Set it to uh, maybe 8 frames per second. So, um, when this collision happens, we probably want to change the animation of the um, bad guy equals uh, damage. Make sure you use quotations. Oh, actually, it wants just a number, right? So it'll be animation one. Okay. Uh, let me just um, copy this. Paste it. And uh, add a new um, condition. Sprite animation. Animation is finished. Uh, bad. Okay. We probably want to restore the animation. Sprite. Change animation equals zero. So now the bad guy takes some damage. Now there are other ways to get this working, uh, but um, yeah, for now we're going to rely on this. So, so this is going to work as long as um, the health of the bad guy is still 100, or not zero. Okay. Uh, has to be greater than zero. So basically not zero. And uh, we can apply the same condition to uh, to this here. Paste and paste. Okay. So basically as long as our character is still alive. So let's um, decrease the health of the bad guy all the way down to zero and you will see that the animation stops playing okay so when it's zero we want him to die uh, so let's create another animation for our character and um, add animation and we are simply going to uh, erase our character slowly, not at once. You can see a preview here. But you could use programs like iClone, uh, Crazy Talk Animator to create incredible animations for your for your games. Okay, last one there, and uh, preview these. That's a little too fast. Set this uh, to maybe six frames per second. So, add a new condition. Um, so if the um, if the bad guy's health, it's um, lower lower or equals zero we simply want to destroy that object oh well we want to play the animation first sprite animation change animation to uh, 
equals animation uh, two. Now, um, this will also trigger another animation, so it doesn't keep playing the same animation over and over. So um, let me add another variable. So gdevelop knows that that character is already dead. So we call it that dead uh, equals uh, zero means no, but one will mean yes. Okay. Variables bad and dead has to be zero, not dead. Uh, but if this happens, we want to set this animation to, uh, we want to set the variable uh, dead equals one, meaning the character is finished. Okay, so you can no longer play that animation. You will play that animation only once. Let's try it out. There we go. Now, when this animation finishes playing, we want to destroy that uh, object. We don't want to keep it on the screen there like that. Add a new condition, and um, we can simply get away with um, uh, animation finished, bad, and also if that variable, uh, if dead variable is equals one. That's why it's important to have that variable. Then we can destroy that object. Or make it invisible, whatever you want. Object. Uh, delete object. Okay. Try this again. All right. <laughs> it looks like he's playing the, the other animation, but uh, I think you get the point. All right. Uh, in the next video, we are going to debug this. Uh, that's something minor there, uh, not working 100%, but uh, it is actually doing it. So, so yeah. In the next video, we are going to set uh, our uh, collision to another object. So. Uh, our character is not actually doing the collisions for the platformer, so you don't see silly stuff like this, where you can't hit the walls. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to smack the like button down below, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Game development exclusive content, you will find it on my second channel, Sparkman 2. So go ahead and subscribe to Sparkman 2, uh, the link is down below. See you guys in the next video, bye now.